Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian, and I'm going to help you calculate your nutrient values, or more or less determine what the daily percent value is of certain foods that you eat. Fortunately, a lot of this work is already done for us on our nutrition facts label. And you might be wondering, how do I determine if that level is appropriate for me, or what do those percentages even mean? Well, keep in mind, the nutrition facts label is a very general guide, meaning it's set at a 2,000 calorie level daily intake. Now, that could be more or less than what your particular body needs. So I would suggest figuring out your nutritional daily needs by either plugging into an accredited um, equation or checking with your dietitian. Now, the daily percent value means what component or what portion of that food or food component is providing towards your calories or daily nutrient needs. Now, our recommended daily allowances are an average of the amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fat we should have, as well as the amount of vitamins and minerals we should have on a daily intake level. Now, in general, our macronutrients, or the things that provide us calories, which are the carbohydrates, which typically you want to aim for 50 to 60% of your diet coming from carbohydrates, our fats, which really only need about 20% or so, and our protein, again, 20 to 30%, all with a little bit of, you know, slip and slide room in between. Now, when you look at a nutrition facts label, here I have an example. We can look at our total calories, which I said are combined of a few things, your fat, your carbohydrates, and your protein. Now, by doing a simple percentage, you can see what percentage of those calories are coming from these different nutrients. So, for instance, they've actually calculated the amount of calories to fat already for us. So we can take a calculator and do a simple um, percentage calculation. So 120 dividing into 260 equals about 46. This means this product is 46% fat, or 46% of those calories come from fat. Now here we have five grams of protein. So we know five, I'm gonna multiply that by four because each gram of protein provides us with four calories. So I have 20 calories coming from protein. 20 divided into 260 is only about 7.6%, so not a significant source of protein here. But again, those are simple ways to find out the percentage of nutrient components per your calories, so how much of those certain nutrient components are providing you calories. But again, as far as daily percent value, which you can see here, this is based off a 2,000 calorie diet. So if you're aiming for that 60, 20, 30, like I mentioned, 60% ca um, carbohydrates, um, 20 to 30% both fat and protein, you can take your daily calories. Say for instance, mine are 1,600, and I know that I want 60% of my diet coming from carbohydrates. I'm gonna multiply that by 0.6. I know that 960 calories should come from carbohydrates. Now there's four calories per gram from carbohydrates, as well as four calories for protein. And fat provides us nine calories per gram. So by using that little information and kind of spending a little time with a calculator, you can find out your more specific um, daily values. But again, use this as a tool. It's very well um, rounded, lots of scientific research, and 2,000 calories is a pretty good estimate for most people. That's just a little bit of information on calculating the percentage of nutritional values. I'm Charlotte and eat happy.